time for another drive um, and just what I've learned so far. So, okay, I do watch the oil pressure like a hawk and I guess I'll get over that soon. Uh, having air conditioning is amazing. Um, it doesn't have a standard stereo on it, it has an Alpine stereo that's been in there for quite a while, but I like it. It's got kind of a, a phone connector on it, it's got Bluetooth. Uh, it's got a little microphone here. Um, but let's just talk about the driving. Right, so, yeah, go out to a road that has a decent speed, speed limit on it. Come on, people! Anyway, um, I'm going 
that's I'm going to have to turn him off here because he's just going to crash into the back of me. And he hasn't turned this way. I think Gordon will have put it. This is actually a nice road down here. And here come the bumps. By the way, I should have explained at the beginning of that first video where I had to go for my first drive and the brake pedal went to the floor and I thought, oh my god, the brakes don't work. I did end up in a bush. I ended up in a bush. No. Um, and that has taken some getting used to and the brakes do work, they do lock, they do stop the car. Um, but I wouldn't want anybody else driving it because you have to know that that happens. If you don't, you just assume that they're going to be just like I did that first time. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. We're just going to draw a Hang on. Six and a half thousand pounds! Well, actually, I should explain that six and a half thousand pounds is how much I paid for it. Six thousand five hundred and fifty. But... Um, I did have to pay £260 to have it delivered. Since then, I've spent £140 on a tyre for the Black Circles. I've spent £40 on tracking. I spent £30 on the strut for the engine hood. I spent £15 on the hook for the door, so that door opens from the outside. And what else have I spent? I spent £30 on the fix for the cubby hole here. What else have I spent money on? Oh, £310 on getting the pipe fixed for the air conditioning, £60 on having it regassed. Um, I've got, uh, I bought some bulbs for all the interior lights which didn't work. I've got new wipers on, but that stuff doesn't really count as cost. All the other stuff is just fixing it. I, I bought some new stainless steel 8 bleed nipples for the brakes, so I just need to go and either get that done or do it myself. I haven't really got any space to do it myself. Also, I'm really lazy. I have found a good specialist, so I'm going to go and see him again. Uh, I need to ask him first if I can tell you guys about him. Um, and, uh, and I think that will do for the rambling drive. Um, and maybe the rambling drive could become a regular thing. Perhaps. Probably. I'm good at rambling, so we could just do a rambling drive where I'm in the I'm in the country, so there's nothing that I see that I can ramble about, so I'm just gonna ramble about the car. Because uh, let's face it, that's what we're gonna be talking about. And I own a 911 and I'm driving it to work every day. So about two weeks. I've been driving it to work for about two weeks. And I'm not going to do anything that goes, oh, I want, you know, I want something like, oh, I want to get the original stereo, or I want to get some fancy stereo, or I want to get sat nav. None of that. It's all going to be about enjoying, improving. Am I improving? Improving the driving experience in a way that says, hey, something doesn't work and I need to fix it. Um, there is quite a lot of creaking coming from the car when it's warm. So today's been quite warm, um, and the uh, the suspension stuff creep. I think that's just rubber expanding and probably sticking. Uh, this window sticks a bit uh, when it's coming back up and creaks, so I put some of that rubber conditioner on that a few people raved about on one of the forums. Um, so everything I know about Porsches I've learned in the last two weeks by looking at forums. Probably the last three weeks I think I've looking while I was looking to buy one. Um, and I didn't really do a, it was more like a Google whack thing. Here's my criteria. I think I've told you the criteria. I'll just tell you again. It was um, manual, two wheel drive, uh, hard top with an MOT, and mileage irrelevant, cosmetic stuff fairly irrelevant. You know, I don't want it to look like a heap. Um, but I did want service history and I haven't gone through all the history, but it's a pretty thick file. Um, and, you know, let's face it, 147,000 miles, and it still sounds like that. Um, and you 
know what? Even if it went pop tomorrow, I wouldn't regret it. I wouldn't regret it. Okay, my bank balance would regret it. Uh, the fact that we're not going on holiday this year, this summer, because I have a Porsche. So it's not like I've got tons of money. You know, like the loads of videos you see. Oh, hey, I just bought. Like, what's every man driving? I know. I've just bought a thirty thousand pound Porsche Turbo. Everyone should go and buy one. Do you know what? I don't have thirty thousand pounds. I barely have that six and a half thousand pounds. But if I could sell my everyday cops an Audi A3 and drive this every day. And it'd be the same price? Oh my god! Everybody gonna do it! Anyway, that's, that's the whole premise. So, in a year, a year of rambling videos and the bumpy roads, um, yeah, well, well, um, well, hopefully, we're still talking in a year, and, uh, and more, more people are driving Porsche 911s. It's gonna be the 996, let's face it. Um, Hopefully the price isn't going to skyrocket, so suddenly, not, not through anything I'm doing, but just because people caught on to, you know, hey, you can go and buy a really everyday, usable, reliable German sports car for the price of a eight-year-old Audi A3. I mean, immense, right? Anyway, uh, we'll talk more next time. We'll try and do more frequent videos, but, you know, what's this case? Thanks, guys.